Hello and welcome. Here we are. We are now going to install Windows 11. We're currently using a Windows 10 PC. We're gonna use the media creation tool and I'm just gonna show you. Literally just go into Chrome or Firefox or whatever and just literally type in Windows 11 ISO. Find the Microsoft one, download Windows 11. You're now given three choices. <clears throat> First choice, you can actually use the installation assistant, which will do an upgrade for you. Second, you can create the installation media. So basically it's gonna download Windows 11 and then you can put it on a USB drive and do a clean installation. Or manually, you can download the ISO by clicking over there and then click download. What we're gonna do is create the USB Okay, and use that to either do an upgrade or a clean installation. This video should be for a clean installation. Hopefully our next video should be how to do an upgrade using either this or our media created. Okay, so you click download, that downloads the media creation tool, click open it, and it opens up like that. All right, just accept the terms, okay. Now you can go with, for example, this is using a US version of Windows. You can change it, for example, if you want the United Kingdom version. All right, that's fine. And then click next. USB, make sure you do have a USB inserted. It will erase everything from that USB flash drive of yours. So make sure that you're prepared to have that done. Okay, E, that's my USB drive. You don't wanna click C, that's generally your hard drive or your SSD. And then just give it time to download and then copy the files over to the USB and we should come back when that's done. Okay, here we are. We have inserted our USB drive and that has our Windows 11 files on it. It's now starting up the computer. And once it starts up, we should be able to install Windows 11. Just make sure that you have checked to see that your PC actually does meet the minimum system requirements for hardware. You would type in your product key or on your hardware, if you had Windows 11 previously installed, it would be saving the key already on the machine. So in that case, it says, click, I don't have a product key. If you did, obviously type it in and then choose which version you're going for. Windows 11 Pro, we are going for it, accept the agreement. Okay, now we wanna do a custom install. As I said, we are doing it on a virtual machine. We have created it just to the bare minimum required for this so that we can then wipe it once it's finished. Okay, so select your drive that would be, if you had two drives and select which drive you wanna install it on. We have just set up with 80 GB, I think 70 or 75 is the minimum required. Okay, obviously when you see it, yours will be having a couple of terabytes probably. Okay, let's click next and then just sit back and then wait for a while until it gets to the next screen. Okay, once it's come, it'll then say what is the right country or region, and then it says which keyboard, just in case you don't have a UK keyboard. For example, you're using a US keyboard, change the keyboard. Do you want a second keyboard? Um, that is getting a little bit common nowadays. However, in this case, we'll skip. Now you can create a name for your PC, or if you skip, it'll create a random name. Okay, there we go. Next. Here you have the option to set it up as a work or a school PC, which will be joined to the work or school, or in most cases, it'll just be your personal laptop or desktop. Okay, click next. Now you can add a Microsoft account and then literally you'll have all the extra benefits of things being synced to the cloud and all those extra things. Or if you want, you can just create a standalone PC on its own, the old traditional way. 
All right, in this case, we're using that one and it'll just prompt you again, trying to push you for an account. It's up to you. Okay, now we can give a name over here. Okay, now that could be your name. Okay, now we obviously create a password, but for this one, we're just gonna make a simple password so it's easy. I'm just creating rough things just quickly just to show for this demo. Okay, um, do you wanna use location if you're using laptops, etc.? It does add a little extra information coming through. Um, if you want to say no, just click no. Find my device. Some people will go for that. I'll just click no. Um, send diagnostics data. You can, or you can just click on only send the bare minimum that Microsoft wants. Um, are you using a pen with it? If you are, this does really help. Otherwise, click no. It's literally fairly similar to setting up Windows 10. The only thing is a little bit has changed and it looks a little bit snazzier, as some might think. And there you have it. Everyone, we have Windows 11 installed. Okay, you'll obviously want to go through making sure any updates are installed and installing your programs, any drivers. But here it is. Enjoy Windows 11. Hopefully this video helped. Have a great day. Thank you.